Here are five foods that are going to help you with your gaming session. They're going to boost mental performance, give you that edge, quicken your reaction time, and if you stick around, I'm going to give you three cheat code supplements towards the end of the video, so stick around. First things first, I know it's not appealing, omega-3 fatty acids, oily fish, mackerel, sardines, salmon, or just do what I do and just have an omega-3 supplement. Now these contain omega-3 fatty acids like EPA and DHA. These fatty acids, so what they do is they help build the walls of our brain cells, so making sure they stay strong. So it helps the brain cells talk to each other better. Trust me, this is important. So this can actually help with cognitive function and decision making and planning and reaction time, which are very important. So if you're an online gamer particularly, you want that edge, you're gonna wanna make sure you have some fatty fish in your diet or supplements. So improve blood flow to the brain. Uh, what this can do is it can enhance oxygen and nutrient delivery. So this will optimize your overall performance. I know no such thing exists because you're gonna be stressed out your box, but if you want that edge, then including some sort of omega-3 fatty acids a couple of times a week in your routine is gonna be absolutely beneficial for you dark chocolate yes not chocolate dark chocolate now i'm sorry you're gonna have to look at the packet and make sure it says 80 to 85 percent dark chocolate so high cocoa men can actually have antioxidants and flavonoids now this is going to be very important for your brain it's going to enhance cognitive function improve memory increase your alertness as well and it'll aid gamers in quicker decision making it's all about making sure that decision making is at its peak now the mood enhancing properties of dark chocolate is what really stands out here because obviously dark chocolate also has caffeine and if you're someone prone to jitters and you get quite panicky when having caffeine then having some pieces of dark chocolate you know every single day you'll be totally fine it is all about nutrient delivery to the brain because when you're gaming you don't realize it but you're getting stressed out and this can actually cause a little bit of wear and tear in your brain essentially not in a bad way though Yes, blueberries. Yes, fruits. Oh my God, I know you don't want to have any fruits and vegetables in your day. But listen, if you want to be healthy to a degree and you want that edge, you want to get foods that are high in antioxidants. If you don't like blueberries, Google some other foods high in antioxidants. Now, the enhanced circulation is crucial during gaming. You, you've got to understand this as it ensures optimal delivery of oxygen nutrients, supporting sustained focus. Uh, and you want that kind of mental agility as well, if that makes sense. Now, the antioxidants in blueberries actually play a role in protecting brain cells from oxidative stress. Now, oxidative stress occurs when you are playing video games. You're going to be stressed. When you're thinking, when you're trying to rack up a kill count, when you're trying to make sure you're not the last person to die on your team, then you've got to make sure that you have that mental edge. And you don't realize it, but when you're playing video games before you have some to sleep then you're going to be stressed out your box and you're not going to be able to recover so having some sort of fruits and veggies that are high in antioxidants are going to help you massively eggs yes you didn't think that did you well eggs are actually important it's got good healthy fats protein obviously of course but it's got a, nutri a nutrient called choline now choline actually helps uh, make a special chemical called acetylcholine in our brains now this is really important for keeping our moods in check Yes, moods in check during intense online gaming sessions. Now, you never thought you'd hear that. Now, the presence of B vitamins in eggs actually further supports overall brain health. So acetylcholine plays a role in the communication between nerve cells, if that makes sense. So this will actually help you when it comes to quick reactions and strategic decision making uh, during gameplay. So eating eggs actually gives you both choline and B vitamins, I should say. So these nutrients are like a good base for your brain. And they can actually help gamers have quicker reaction times, think a bit better, Obviously, don't just think that you're going to have dark chocolate and eggs and you'll be totally golden. You got to make sure you're rounding out your diet, but increasing these foods are going to help you massively. Now, the final one's probably the least sexiest one of all. If you didn't like blueberries already, then broccoli. Yes, broccoli. I did just say broccoli. One more time. Broccoli. Now, packed with antioxidants like vitamin C and flavonoids, and um, these actually offer neuroprotective effects, potentially shielding your brain from oxidative stress that can actually impact your cognitive performance during those intense gaming sessions. Now, while it won't instantly turn you into a bloody gaming pro, having a little bit of veggies, especially broccoli, are going to help you massively when it comes to gaming. And if you want that mental edge, then you want to try and have some fruits and veggies overall. Now, you don't have to just have blueberries and broccoli, but trying to get more nutrient-dense fruits and veggies in your diet are going to help you greatly. Now, let's quickly dwell on three supplements. The rapid fire. Number one, Alpha GPC. You might have heard of this, especially with uh, Dr. Andrew Huberman, who's become very popular now. So, Alpha GPC is a compound that contains choline, as with in eggs. So, it's a building block for acetylcholine, as I said earlier, uh, kind of like a neurotransmitter. It's, now, this is associated with memory and muscle control. So, it's like giving your brain a boost of essential ingredients. It needs to stay sharp and attentive almost. 
uh, during tasks that required concentration and focus. And a lot of people will realize that when you're gaming, that is something you will want to pay attention to. Now, I will link a study below. There was a study done, actually, where 20% participants in their 20s, um, male and female, consumed 200 milligrams of alpha-GPC, which was a lower dose, 400 milligrams um, of alpha-GPC, which was the higher uh, dose, uh, 200 milligrams of caffeine or a placebo. Um, now, measurements taken 30 minutes after supplements, uh, supplementation results showed that the SST, now this is a serious attraction test, which they use to test focus and mental alertness, scores were actually faster in the alpha gpc uh, particularly the lower end compared to the caffeine and placebo so actually alpha gpc supplementation particularly the lower dose uh, resulted in actually a faster kind of cognitive performance compared to like say caffeine uh, or a placebo so if it's something that you really want to make sure you stay on top of consider looking into it l-tyrosine yeah so l-tyrosine is a, an amino acid everything that i've said when it comes to food and supplements is all about reducing stress there's a theme here so for competitive gamers or those engaged in activities requiring kind of sustained focus i guess uh, l-tyrosine actually might be of interest uh, but you need to realize individual video responses can vary. Now, there's a lot more research that still needs to be done on this, but from what I've observed, and I will link something in the description below, it looks promising. And that's the L-theanine. Yes, the good old Dr. Andrew Huberman actually came to everyone's rescue when he kind of brought more attention to it, especially if you're someone who has a lot of caffeine. So L-theanine can actually act as a friend of caffeine because a lot of people like myself, if I drink too much, I get the jitters. Now, if you're going to want to stay on top of it, you need to realize that having monster cans or whatever energy drinks you have and loads of coffee is not going to get you anywhere because you will feel quite wired but having a little bit of L-theanine with your caffeine can actually help calm you down at the same time which sounds insane but believe me it works so when it's combined with caffeine the theanine actually kicks things up a notch by enhancing your attention and focus now it's like finding the perfect in-game combo so essentially to see it as a combination so you can absolutely take L-theanine with caffeine you can try alpha GPC you can give L-tyrosine a go but you got to make sure that you see what works for you so hopefully that helped one of my longer videos but you know it's something that I'm deeply passionate about as well when it comes to gaming give those foods a go there's safety in them, don't worry about them. But when it comes to supplements, obviously do consult with a physician if you are ever unsure. Thank you, folks. I'll see you in the next video. If anyone's interested in the new GTA coming out and whether or not there are going to be gyms in there, then I compiled a pretty neat list of gym equipment. I would love to see in the new GTA if gyms are coming to the GTA. I'm going to link it up, so do check it out. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.